G'day everybody and welcome back for some more Men of War on Farmland. Yes, 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 it's Farmland, Farmland, Farmland. These are all the games that we're getting to cast at the moment. The Boogeyman will be going up against Greek 393, Strat 39 on the other side, hosting and casting and Twitch streaming and blah, blah, blah. If I remember, I'll link that in the description so you guys can go over there and have a bit of a squiz. As well as we know that Notes is now playing Mountain Warband and I think I will do this. So we are not interrupted by that little pop-up thing in the bottom right hand corner for the rest of the game. Now Boogie is sending a rifleman or a rifleman SMG soldier and a machine gunner to this side. I'm tipping that he's probably going to take cover behind these rocks over here with his machine gunner and try and get early ascendancy on that left hand point. Backs his micro on the middle, doesn't think he'll need the machine gunner. He's capturing the middle right now so it's very very good work. Here is Greek 393's infantry over here. I probably should turn the game up just a little bit. I had it turned down because I was playing some music just before. But now it is all for the game, all the sound. And that is a very nice kill there by Greek 393. Very nice grenade micro and very, very nice infantry movement. And for some reason, Boogie has a soldier in there. So very, very well played there by the Boogie Man. The middle is still completely capped by the American Boogie. Over on the left-hand side, it's starting to become American as well. So Boogie's doing very, very well early on against Greek 393, one of the uh, higher-level players or difficult, uh, more difficult opponents in this tournament for 1v1 tournament. I nearly forgot it. I nearly said 2v2, but there's clearly only two players playing the game at the moment. Is I think the SMG fire there just kind of... Whittled away the copper pipe. That's all. That's physics there for you. That's very, very good physics. Shotgun troopers going to the right hand side. The underrated uh, infantry of the game. Boogie also setting up with a couple riflemen back on this point. Very, very nice. Greek 393 finally getting to that machine gunner point. Thank you very much. Using that beautiful machine gunner point, which everybody knows when they pay farmland. He's also got an AT infantry just crouching behind here. Wouldn't mind pushing him up into these bushes. That would be much more interesting and much more in a position to kill. As I'll turn the game up just that little bit more and we see if we can get some more beautiful gun sounding. And that uh, MG42 there is pinning the rifleman down behind the wall. Very, very nice. Gets the kill. Grenade from the Assault Squad leader, maybe. Yes, it was the Assault Squad leader. He goes down, though, to this SMG soldier. That's a very, very good trade-off. Assault Squad leader for one USA Infantry. I would take that 25 times out of 25. And the shotgunners right now for the Boogeyman on the right-hand side are bringing the pain. Machine Gunner of 3 3 3 not being able to get an angle on this shotgunner as he's clearly crashed down behind this stone wall. So very, very nice. Wouldn't mind a shotgunner or two moving up around here just to kind of... Just to kind of surround the point a little bit, just infest, just infest in a 1v1. If you can get infantry in precarious positions, do it, because it's very, very annoying when you can cut off supply lines, so to speak, or reinforcements coming into another point to back it up. Very nice kill by the bar on the machine gunner just there. Middle is still solely American. There's a couple of grenade explosions here, here, and here, but nothing else major to report for the middle. Machine gunner still... It's, it's in a very, very good position to block off, say, this area of the street, which is probably a lot more predominant than the right-hand side of the point, the left-hand or the far left-hand of the map for Greek 393, but he probably could be uh, microing it a little bit better and moving it around, but here comes some more Assault Squad soldiers. Going to try and stand up against those shotgunners. No, there's another AT infantry here by the Boogeyman, so a very, very nice play. I love my AT guns. Um, AT guns, my bazookas. But as of late, I've switched... To become a bit of an uh, a bit of a AT man, as in a bit of a AT gun man, actually myself, because they've become a little bit more unreliable. I've noticed. I know there's been no late patches or anything like that, but here we go. Greek 393 flanking beautifully through the mid right. Some shotgunners from the boogeyman coming over to reinforce. He gets one kill on an assault SMG soldier. He's probably going to look for the rest, but I think the assault SMG soldiers or the assault soldiers of Greek 393 will be eventually picked off through this area. There's a grenade there. This is the lone survivor that I know of, and there you go, gets gunned down by that SMG soldier who's taken out an assault squad leader, assault squad SMG soldier, and assault squad rifleman. Very well played there, Boogie. That's a very, very nice position because anybody who comes running around this corner will be shot at, and anyone who really tries to run around the point and maybe get in this house here at the back of the mill will be easily run over. There's a 222 coming to the field. That's what he's got his AT infantry for, but I would mic it up in this bush, Mr. Boogeyman. That's the only problem I see with your AT infantry. Also, this one will be a lot more better placed up in the bushes somewhere if you have the infantry cover, but I guess he doesn't as the assault squad soldiers are all over this point right now. Boogie in a micro war with Greek 393. Greek in... Uh, I think Boogie is the better micro of the two players. Greek 393's micro isn't the greatest. His grenade micro isn't the greatest, but he's a uh, light, light vehicle play, uh, micro. That is what he's known for. He's known for being very, very risky. He plays a very, very risk and reward type game. And unfortunately, if his risk doesn't pay off, it's pretty much game over for him. And here comes the Stuart. 
to take out the 222. It misses the first shot. Greek 293 is going to just charge across. It get completely destroyed. That deserves three ticks of approval there. That was absolutely brilliant by the boogeyman, and that was a beautiful explosion. Distracted with the Stuart, made sure the 222 was going to move across the road because Ash, uh, Greek 393 is never going to back out of a fight. Unfortunately, that is also his worst enemy himself. And he just got blown up by the AT man, so very, very well played. Now some AP sniping going on from the Boogeyman, trying to take out down, uh, trying to take down all these assault squad soldiers. It's a very, very good idea to AP snipe with the M3 AT gun, the Stuart, Panzer 3, any light tank can AP snipe. It's absolutely beautiful. And the AT infantry is going to try and get the soldiers here. Will this guy get away into the backfield? I hope the Boogie's seen him. He's only assault rifleman, so he does not really matter. But here comes some shotgunners to try and get him. He's not going to be doing too much damage, and I think Boogie might be direct controlling into there. Oh no, he's now. Down, but unfortunately he's not dead, so if those shotgunners move away, there we go, now they should kill him. Kill him, come on. Come on, there's more interesting things happening in the middle that the people want to see. Oh well, the Stuart right now has positioned itself quite nicely behind this building. It's got some infantry to kill. I guess there would be some maybe SMG riflemen, uh, SMG soldiers, some riflemen up around this point for Greek 393. We see that guy go down. It's 23 to 0 right now. Very, very good start from the boogeyman. But over on the right-hand side, his point has been decapped. The middle is starting to be capped for the Americans. Oh, decapped from the German Greek 393. There's a Lepac 41. I don't think I've ever seen Greek by a Lepak 41, so you know when you've got Greek doing that, you know you are definitely doing the right things. <clears throat> Probably not the best buy there, because I'm pretty sure the croc comes up in two minutes or so, and this game will definitely go for another two minutes. So if that happens, that Lepak 41 is going to be obsolete by the time we see the croc on the field. The left-hand side is being pushed as well, so very, very nice work by Greek. Made sure he won back the right, then pushed the middle to win it back, and now he's pushing the left-hand side. There's also the Brandenburger machine gunner up behind here. I just saw firing some deadly machine gun ammo. 23 to 3 right now, so Greek 3 pulling himself back into this one, which I expected. I didn't expect Boogie to just waltz to 50 nil. I don't think anyone would expect that. The Greek 3 very, very respect. Oh, yeah, respected player. <laughs> No, yes, he's, he's a very, very good player and very, very respected amongst the community. Would hate to come up against him in a game myself. I'm pretty sure a lot of players would hate to come up against him in a game themselves. And that's a nice grenade micro there by Greek 293. I said he wasn't the best at his micro, but in this game, he's proving me wrong. He is absolutely dominating Boogie in the middle right now. See the amount of grenades that have gone off around the center flag. That is absolutely enormous right now. There's at least six grenades there, but I'm pretty sure there would have been more than that for sure. Right hand, left hand side, sorry, sees the Stuart leading the Marines. No, just assault squad soldiers and shotgunners into battle right now. There is a Brandenburger soldier back there. Remember, there are Brandenburger on the field, so I'm hoping that there might be a sneaky little Panzerfaust guy in this river ready to take out this Stuart, but I suppose that wall would probably be a little bit of a hindrance as well. This is mass infantry wave has come mass infantry waves coming from Greek 393 at the moment. He's being gunned down by all the American soldiers. Just nice little firefights all over the place. Something is back there. Uh, no, actually, I think there's always a hole there, but I hear a Panzer three in the background. That's a better buy from Greek 393. Croc in 30 seconds, so we're about to see some flame on action, but here comes Greek 393's grenade. Into the window, maybe, or around the back of the house to get this shotgun trooper. Very, very well played there, Greek 293. He is just all of a sudden exploded. Boogie had complete control over this game, like really just controlled all three flags for a little bit, ran the joint, and now he's in all sorts of trouble. The Pack 41 trying to take on the Stuart, wouldn't get too close. It's got HE loaded though, and that brings us to Mars. The, uh, the, the Pack 41 was probably brought to take out the Stuart and failed in his job, so that is very, very unfortunate there. Brandenburger just misses the Panzerfaust. Second Panzerfaust bounces off the side of the Stuart. Third Panzerfaust misses. <laughs> Oh, that is a classic example of why some AT infantry are very, very bad. And I saw that was a Panzerfaust squad AT infantry as well. You don't get the AT infantry with the Panzerfaust. But eventually the assault squad SMG soldier kills the Stuart, which should have been dead about 30 seconds ago. Croc can be used right now, Mr. Boogeyman. Hopefully he has an idea of what his hero points and what the timer is at. It's 23 to 14. Nine points down, Greek 393, pulling himself back into this game. And the only point that Boogie has control over right now, it's a very, very shaky control. And here comes a 2 2 2 to uh, kill off all the infantry. Boogie's moving the AT man into place. I would probably crouch down, my friend. He's going to take a side shot at the Panzer three. Probably not the best idea. Will get himself killed eventually. The side tracks of the Panzer three. We're definitely going to kill him. He just shot the, uh, just shot that little 
pallet jack there as well. Oh, that little pallet jack. Those little uh, pallets there as well. Now, surely the ATM is driven. I know he's actually still alive. He's hiding behind those wooden things. I really don't know why he isn't dead yet. It's quite impressive that he's still alive. Surely the croc is about to be bought. Left hand point still belongs to the Americans, though, even though there's such a dominance of vehicles and infantry on this side. Here comes an assault rifle from 3393. The middle is completely American. The right hand side completely German. And here comes the Sherman crocodile. Not the Sherman crocodile, sorry, the Sherman croc. But the crocodile is obviously the UK unit. Uh, which is the Churchill Crocodile, and here comes the Assault Rifle to finish off this ATM. <laughs> Alright, fine. Greek 293 just discovered the uh, AT Infantry Soldier with his Rifleman, and then decided to kill himself, so that's always a decent tactic, I guess. Hopefully he's got APCR loaded there, Greek 93 gets tracked, so that's probably not the... Oh, I think he just shot as well, so I think Boogie will win this tank engagement. Now he's going to take out the 222 first, probably not the best idea, because the Panzer 3 can still definitely take him out, but now the Panzer 3 is surely going to die. No, he hit the... <laughs> Move up, Boogie! Oh, both players have just hit that rock. Surely Boogie is going to move up around and away from this rock. He does. He moves in for the kill shot. Gets a Coringa. Surely he'll have AP loaded. I'm pretty sure he wouldn't have APCR loaded. Uh, he's still taking shots at it. For some reason, this Panzer III is not dying. That shot goes straight through the Sherman croc. Gets another Coringa on the Panzer III. So, this Panzer III just not, does just not want to die at the moment, if I can speak. There you go. Hull destroyed, did no damage to the croc whatsoever. Very well played. Boogeyman need to move up on this left-hand point and start Kappa 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 straight away. So here comes a conscript squad from the Boogeyman. Very, very nice buy here at the moment. He can probably throw them up in around this point, just spread them out everywhere. Some shotgunners moving up on the far left of the croc as well. Wouldn't mind getting the croc up in there right now. I don't think it's going to have any major enemies. Here it comes. It's being scouted for by the shotgun troopers. So very, very nice standard play from... The boogeyman right now, where I've just eaten, so I really hope I don't burp <clears throat> into the microphone as I'm trying to hold them back. And there you go, the croc is just absolutely dominating all the infantry there. Jeez, this area is uh, being under a little bit of attack like that uh, right now. You could say it's been in a war almost, even though it probably is, because we are currently playing a World War II game. So that would explain the amount of craters and explosions that have gone off around the point. Craters don't go off, but craters have been made from explosions that have gone off around the point. You can also see the sheer amount of grenades that have gone off as well. Also, the Panzer III exploded majestically before. So it's very, very nice at the moment by Boogie. He's probably sitting himself, setting himself up for the game win now. Moments in the 1v1 we set up for the game win. See, or actually, mm, he, yeah, he probably could set up a few troops. Now it's time to push the right-hand side for the Boogeyman. He's being pushed back at the middle and also through the mid-right road, really, this mid-right kind of avenue road. He's got a half-track. I thought that was a Greyhound in the background. No, he's definitely going with the half-track. Very, very nice buy, but here comes the Brandenburger soldier, though. He disappeared behind the wall. Wouldn't be surprised if he pops out here. Here he comes. Hopefully Boogie sees it. I don't think he's going to. The ATM bridge took shots, but then he eventually gets engine damage. Is it on fire? No, it's not on fire. So that means that... Oh, no, now it is. I was going to say that's just going to be a 50 cal emplacement right there, but it's not going to be today. The Brandenburger machine gunner. Beautiful positioning from Greek 93. The middle is decapped. Left-hand side ticking up for the Americans. 27 to 17. It's a 10-point difference. Here comes a G. Hopefully Boogie saw that G. I don't know if he did. It's going to have some very, very... It's going to give away some very, very decent side shots to this G if it pops itself up over the hill. And I back the Sherman Crocodile against the G. I back anything against the G, really. Stuart can take out a G very, very easily. It's just been crewing good, so... And now it's all destroyed, yes. First play in the, uh, I guess, G and Croc War. That definitely goes to Greek 293. Hopefully someone can repair this 222 from the American faction, or the American team, I should say. Not the faction. Been playing too much Mountain Blade myself. But no, hopefully someone from the USA can uh, get into that 222 and maybe repair it up. Here comes a Sherman 76, though, from Boogie. Nice buy. I don't see anything wrong with buying the Sherman 76 in a 1v1. Many people don't really like to go anything past the first tier tank. And the H, obviously, for the, uh, for the, uh, what's it called? For the Germans. That's the word that I'm trying to get out. The Germans obviously have that H that usually everyone buys. And we've seen in the last three or four games that the H is pretty much a standard buy for anyone who plays in a 1v1 in this tournament. But here we go. The 76 will be taking some shots at the G. Wouldn't really be backing away from the G myself. I actually, it's advancing probably <laughs> Takes out that 2-2-2 two, two, two. very, very nicely there, Greek Time 3. Now he's going to back off. Wouldn't be backing off. You've already made Boogie back really behind the hill. Actually, no, nah, probably would. Boogie's definitely got the better angles. There, he's still taking shots at that G, going over the top of it right now. 
G backing away very, very nicely, giving itself some cover, using the building and everything around it. 76 fly, uh, shell flies over the top, and that will be safe to live for another day, that Panzer G. Middle is being capped by the Germans. That's 27 to 22, and this is the problem right now. Boogie keeps decapping the middle. It's a it's a dogfight for the middle two flags, uh, middle and left. But the problem is the right-hand side sees no action at all, and that is why Greek 393 has been able to come back into this game. And the thing with Greek is the way to attack him is you have to attack three points at once. He's only a very one point, maybe even two position player. He cannot handle all three fronts. And we saw that at the start of the game. Boogie absolutely dominated him. But as soon as he's left that right-hand side alone, Greek 393 has been able to pull himself into the game with ease right now. The 76 needs to kill this G right now. Main gun damage, and that's very, very good there for the Boogie man. Greek 93 should probably hide behind some buildings and try and get the repairs up on that straight away. He has. But I'm pretty sure that Boogie could just move around to here with ease and uh, easily take some shots at that 76. He's not going to uh, easily take some shots at that G. He's going around right now. He's going to try and take down the house. A Brandenburgers are there as well. Boogie, I'd back going to the left, man. I would not try and take the G out at this angle. See, now Greek's just going to be a little smart ass and try and maneuver himself around the back of the house just even better, which he is. And this is really killing Boogie. This is taking time for this game. He could just go to the left hand side of the point and take the shot that he needs at the G, but he's wasting his time trying to take out the building. Boogie, you need to be moving on the left, my friend. And this right now is killing the game. It isn't much of a turning point because there's not a unit being killed besides this G will eventually be killed. But here comes another Panzerfaust soldier at Brandenburger. In fact, it's being taken out by the 76, so he really needs some infantry up around here to support. The middle is being decapped. We get in that building as quickly as he can so you're safe from any fire, but he's still up around here. Man, just move around to the left-hand side of the building. As I said before, I think he just killed the machine gunner with an AP shell, so that was very, very nice. I hear something in the background. It sounds like it could be a Flak 37. If that's a Flak 37, I'm pretty sure it is that is moving around in the background. It's going to be very, very big trouble for Boogie. Here we go. He's finally going to the left. He's finally saving himself some time and taking out that G. Track that well. That's just crap. <laughs> that should be dead, really. But here we go. Now, surely it's going to die from the 76. Engine damage. Now I just leave it alone, really. Actually, no, you'd probably go for the whole destroy. Sorry, I thought that was on fire. Turret damage, crewing. to keep moving back while you're shooting at it. It's not going to be able to fire back at you. Flak 37 is around somewhere. Maybe he's going to repair it. No, he's actually going to get in it. He's getting in the G because it's not hull damaged. I suppose he can just sit that there and... I know, they have to destroy it. So he's going to let Greek destroy it. The middle is currently being capped by the Ger uh, Germans. Recapped by Greek 293. Boogie is trying to get that kill on that Brandenburger soldier. He eventually does, but he's going to be killed himself with shotgunner by that Brandenburger machine gun. The middle is decapped. It's 29 to 34. We're in for an absolute ripper of a game, people who are watching. Cruenter on the 76. Is that the Flak 37 in the background? Yes, it is. A Flak 37 in Greek 93. Very, very good by 76. Now, track damage. It could possibly turn. No, it can't. It's been completely hull destroyed. So now that puts Boogeyman in a bit of trouble right now. Flak 37 will probably take out this Panzer G as well. In the meantime, while well, it's got some time to do it, hull damage. There you go. So it's left on Greek 393 side to probably repair. Now, Marine's gone to the right-hand side. This needed to happen at least five minutes ago, I reckon, for Boogie to really have turned the screws on Greek 393 because at that point he just destroyed the G, had the middle as well, and he could have easily pushed on that right-hand side while Greek 393 was so focused on the left. See, here it is. Greek 393 heavily focused on the left. Middle point, he's just kind of not really focusing on it at all. And the right-hand side, obviously there would be no Greek 393 attention over here. It's all for the boogeyman right now, and that is all about the 1v1s. You've just got to... you just got to attack where your opponent's not attacking. You've got to set up a good enough defense that it's going to take your opponent longer to cap your point than what it does to cap their point on the opposite side of the map or in the center of the map, which you can take and claim as your own. Croc is obviously still up. Actually, no, I probably wouldn't go with uh, 276 because there obviously is the Flak 37 on the field. But here comes the 222. Very, very nice buy by Greek 23. The Stuart is also moving towards the 222 to take it out. Hopefully, he can cap this right-hand point. It's 29 to 36. Greek has a three-point advantage. Right now, he's probably going to be taken out by these assault riflemen, this tank crewman. Uh, both dead, actually. The assault rifleman, though, is uh, still alive and kicking down in that little uh, hole just there. 30 cal machine gunner all the way back there. It's got 250 bullets and a clip, which I was informed by Takis Sakis in one of the tournament games that I was casting. He said, no, it's actually 250 bullets. So I said, okay, it's 250 bullets. And since ever since then, I've known it's 250 bullets. And I hope it's 250 bullets, because if it's not, I sound like a an idiot right now. 
but Boogie's also destroying some cover on Greek 393 side of the right hand points. That's very, very nice there. 29 to 39. Probably should have been done a little bit earlier though for the Boogie Man. He's trying to push up on this point. He's got airborne soldiers. Yes, airborne soldiers running everywhere, not even caring about the SMG soldier because they'll eventually get to the wall and be able to take him out. Surely Greek 93 is going to throw a grenade with that assault rifle to take out those two airborne soldiers. It's 29 to 40. Right now, 11 point lead, 11 point lead for Greek 393. The middle is decapped. Try and get a guy in there. Throw a smoke grenade, put him on hold fire, get him in there, or put him on return fire just in case he's discovered by Greek 393's SMG soldier that might be crawling in there sooner or later. The Marine is going to try and take out that machine gunner. He's going to have to. If he takes out that machine gunner, he's going to run the right hand side. Stuart versus Flack. He gets the. Ooh, hello. Oh no, the Flack is firing back. The Stuart wants that. Now nah, it's definitely gone now. Oh, he's going to try and duck the cover. If that HE shell had actually destroyed this and blown it up, that would have been a lot better for the Boogeyman. Unfortunately, it did not happen that way. Some paratroopers now for Greek 293, are they? Yes, yes, some paratroopers with a machine gunner there. Moving around, the airborne have fought back for this point. Middle is being capped by the Americans. It's 29 to 45. Five points for Greek 293. 21 points for the Boogeyman. Doing mass on the go is never a good idea. The Greyhound is coming to the left. Probably going to try and help out and cap this point. I don't really know what he's doing. If you want to buy the Greyhound and use it to help cap this point, you're probably going to need some conscripts in front of the right-hand side. See, this is where Boogie, he now owns this right-hand side. Now is the time to quickly dart back to the middle of the left and try and cap it straight away. Is that that team? No, it was a shotgun trooper. Let's hope... That the 222 will be taken out by the Greyhound for Boogeyman's sake. He's definitely lost out in the tank engagements today. He takes a shot at the house. What are you doing, Boogeyman? Gets absolutely destroyed. Now, all this infantry is just ripe for the picking of the 222 gun on Greek 393's 222. The 222 gun on Greek 393's 222. And he just does some circles and gets away from an AT grenade. Flips up a little bit. Second AT grenade, though, doesn't do the job either. Third AT grenade doesn't do the job either. <laughs> Third AT grenade doesn't even get thrown, but no, it does get thrown. We probably won't do the job either. Fourth AT grenade, where are you? Nowhere to be seen. That's what I thought. 29 to 45 right now, but here we go. The left hand side has been completely swarmed by uh, Boogie's infantry. While Greek 293 is micro in this 2 2 The middle is still decapped. I'm amazed that Greek 293 doesn't actually have the middle point. There is nothing from Boogie on this side that's really stopping him from getting that point at all. Here we go. AT man, he's probably going to get away. There you go. There's a big assault. No, big paratrooper bunch coming into the middle now. So very nice work there. Another Luke's from Greek 293. Another light vehicle. I shouldn't say another Luke's. Just the first loops of the game, but no, another light vehicle from Greek 293 heading over to this left-hand side to counter the infantry brigade. So now the right-hand side is run by Boogie. Now he can focus on the middle and the left-hand side. Nice kill on the 222 there from the Boogie man. Left is still going up for the Americans. That's what he wants. Trying to crawl some assault squad soldiers around. Yes, maybe no. Throw that AT grenade for crying out loud. Please, no. Just oh, don't let things get away when they should be dying. Oh, beautiful though, Boogie man. I was going to say, if that got away, I would have been very, very angry at the bug. But he definitely got there and was able to kill the man. The paratroopers are now swarming around the middle. We'll cap the middle very, very easily for the Germans. Left-hand point, right-hand point belong to the boogeyman. He'll be ticking up. It's 34 to 45. 16 points for the boogeyman. 5 points for Greek 293. This is some high-level 1v1 action. And this is why we run the tournament for games like this. When it's just high-level players slugging it out with one another. Greek 393 brought another Brandenburger squad coming to this right-hand side. He's going to... Probably try and take back the point. That's a very, very Captain Obvious. Thanks, Co-Captain Obvious statement right there. But no, he's probably going to try and maybe swarm, get some Brandenburgers in bushes around the place so there's no Greyhound or Stuart or Half-Track charges as we saw the Brandenburger took out that Half-Track before. Got the engine damage, created some fire, some beautiful fire in the engine, and then easily killed it. So the bars from the airborne are cutting up all infantry coming to this right-hand point. So very, very well played by the Boogie. I'm pretty sure he wouldn't be microing this side either. This is the side that he wants to be microing. Heavy covers, heavy covers, heavy cover battles going on right now. Just really trading fire across this little uh, intersection, if you'd like, or this little warehouse or farmhouse or whatever. Ooh, I was going to say, if he got in there and killed that assault rifle, that would have been very, very bad for the boogeyman. The left-hand point is currently becoming German, though. It's 40 to 45, 10 points to 5 points needed. The boogeyman has gone with another Stuart. The right-hand side says a 222 from Greek 393. This point is... No, 223 from Greek 393. So there you go. That's something a little different there. He always buys the 222s. Come on, throw that. No, you won't get the kill either. Damn it. 
Why can't Boogeyman just hit with one AT grenade? He's done very, very well with his AT infantry, by the way. I'm pretty sure he's taken out three 222s, the Lukes as well. Very, very nice play with his AT infantry today, the Boogeyman. Points go there. It's 40 to 46. Needs to get this left hand point ASAP. And then he needs to move into the middle and cap it. Where is that Flak 37? That's the big question. Is it being pushed around with a Greek 393 by one of those 222s for it? I'm pretty sure it would just be pushed around the corner. Very, very nice buy by Greek 393. That if you if you doubt yourself to take on the 76 with G's and H's, just buy the Flak 37. It's easily going to win. Boogie's not going to back down. Greek is crying for a GG from the Boogeyman. He's not going to give it as he begins to cap the middle. Shh, do it. 223 coming to this right hand side uh, to this center flag from the right hand side. Hopefully this assault SMG side. Come on, AT men! Yes! Yes! Good work, Boogie. Good work. I'm rooting for Boogie right now. I kinda want Boogie to win because I'm commentating from this side. I'm pretty sure Strat would be the same way for Greek 393 on the other side. Paratroopers from Greek 393 all over the place. Very nice kill by the Flak 37. Gets a pretty much a whole assault uh, assault squad just there. It's 40 to 48. Two points left for Greek 393. Assault squad soldiers pouring into the lines of the Boogeyman right now from the right hand point into the mid right section. More Assault Squad soldiers from the Boogeyman. He needs to stop this point from being capped. He probably won't be able to cap it because of that Flak 37. But if he can just keep this point from being captured, that's all he needs. It's 40 to 48. Maybe just regroup and then work himself out a little bit better. There's surely an airborne, surely, surely an airborne soldier around here. Maybe he's in that house. I don't really know where he is. I can't actually find him, unfortunately. The Assault Squad soldiers have just been absolutely completely flanked by the German Assault Squad soldiers. And that squad is looking a lot less than the 10 members that you'd usually find in it. The Assault Squad soldiers also running back from Greek 293. Needs to start sending stuff to that right-hand point boogeyman. It's 20, 20 or so percent for Greek 293 to capture this point now. And it's going to tick up, and if he captures this, it's probably going to be game over. He's also swarming the left-hand side. I think this might be it for the Boogeyman. He's probably going to go down gallantly in this one. 40 to 50 is my tip. It's 40 to 48 right now. Two points needed for the tick up of Greek 293 so he can win this game. He's just swarming with infantry right now. 40 to 49. Well played to both players. I'll see you hopefully for game two. If not, this was the only game. Also, link the tournament description in below. Thank you very much for watching.